try to get better in the shot. <laughs> We're crouched out. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I'm out here today with my buddy Cyber. And we are at Fort Jones on the Elkhorn River, and we are going to have ourselves some Flip. Flip is an old-fashioned drink from the 1700s and 1800s, and it is damn good. So come join us. It's going to be fun. mixed drink that originated in England back in the late 1600s. One of the first references to Flip comes from William Congreve's 1695 play called Love for Love. In it, a sailor says, quote, We're merry folk, we sailors, we hadn't much to care for. Thus we live at sea, eat biscuit, and drink Flip. The Universal Etymological English Dictionary from 1721 defines Flip as, quote, a sort of sailor's drink made of ale, brandy, and sugar. We can all thank these British sailors for bringing the drink to America, where it had become immensely popular amongst the colonists, including the great George Washington. During the bitter New England winters, there was simply no better drink to warm up a cold traveler. This mixture of ale, combined with eggs, rum or brandy, and sugar or molasses, was heated over the fire to create a hearty concoction with a silky smooth consistency, earning it the poetic nickname, One Yard of Flannel. While there appears to have been several minor variations on the recipe, the method of making it was always the same. Detailed in the 1862 book, The American Bartender, or the Art and Mastery of Mixing Drinks. In it, the author states that, quote, the essential in flips of all sorts is to produce the smoothness by repeated pouring back and forward between two vessels, till it's smooth and finely frothed. And it's from this flipping back and forth that the drink got its name. So here we are on a cold and windy autumn day to find out for ourselves what all the historical fuss was about. Let's get to it. Okay, so you don't need your fire going too big, right? Like this is just a good, normal, decent fire. Uh, but we, we gotta have the fire going enough that we can put a trivet on it and then put the skillet on that. And we're gonna use that to heat up the beer. And that's the first step. Uh, so you wanna heat the ale or the beer up and uh, you don't wanna get it boiling, but you wanna get it so it's nice and hot. So we're going to do that now. see cyber stirring the beer up the ale up making it uh, nice and warm here in case you're wondering why do we have this firewood around it's a little bit damp right now um, in the Midwest and so this is just kind of a way that we don't risk these things starting on fire but kind of dries out your your wood that you're waiting to use so just a little thing you can do yeah that's hot okay okay so we get the ale heated up so this guy's ready to go we have got the eggs separated out, and we have got the rum and the molasses combined as well. Um, and it's kind of neat, by the way, is that you get rum from fermented molasses and you add spices. So it's kind of funny that molasses is kind of the waste product of sugar production, and rum comes from the, the waste product, right? Just add some spice into it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to combine the ale with the rum and the molasses and then we're going to be flipping it, and that's the origin of the name, flip. We're going to be flipping it from container to container, kind of blending it all together. And then we're going to drink it. All right, now you want to have a little bit of ash from the fire in your drink as well. That's going to make it taste better. Everybody knows that. Guys, getting a little windy out here and a little smoky out here. 
But uh, we have got the drinks flipped, and uh, we have inserted the toddy rod or that flip dog, and uh, we got some nutmeg. We're gonna put in the drinks, and then we're gonna try it. Cheers. Cheers. I can't say I love it. It's not the most amazing thing I've ever done. <laughs> it's also not the worst. I tell you what, that's a whole lot of work for a drink that it's not that it's it's not doing it. Well. No. <laughs> I think it definitely can be good. And look, if you're a big fan of ale, um, oh yeah, you'd love this. Yeah, or like an IPA, like you'd love this. This yeah. is this is really good. But if you're not a big fan of it, you might not like it. Right. In which case, then might want to try to make it with maybe a, a, a lighter beer and see if it's if it's significantly better. No. All right. Well, you know what? Here's what we can do. We can just chuck this. We can put that pot back on and put a, put the other beer on there. Yeah. And just warm that up. Is that a lighter beer? Yeah, way lighter. Yeah. It. Because I can't get past the ale. No. Okay. All right, guys. Couple things. One, yes, Cyber and I are wearing the same pants because these are <laughs> the best pants. Number two, we're doing this again, but instead of using the ale, we're actually using like a lighter Pilsner. We're gonna see if that makes uh, a difference here. Okay, so Cyber and I have redone this this time. And by the way, we moved up here because that smoke was absolutely killing us. <laughs> so we decided to redo it and uh, we use Pilsner this time. And so we flipped everything, we used the, the rod, we got it all nice and toasty, and we're gonna give it a try right now. Cheers. Oh yeah, way better. Way better. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. I could drink this. Yeah. Like, it, this is like over Christmas, and somebody's like, hey, you wanna flip? Like, I'll, I'll make you one. I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, I'll have that. I yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. But it could be better. It could be. I think for next time, I think what would be fun is to change the molasses to brown sugar. And by the way, that is historical. They used molasses or they used brown sugar. So you could use either one and still be, you know, stick with the historical recipe. I think brown sugar would probably even make it taste better. Yeah. Like, I like molasses in right. pretty much everything, but it's pretty strong yes. with the rum. It's very strong. It's, so, like, it's like yeah. double dipping. Way better. Yeah, way better, but not as delicious as I was hoping. No. I was really hoping for... I, yeah, almost like an eggnog. Yeah. I think what I wanted was like some sort of spiked eggnog. <laughs> right. I think it's basically yeah. what I was going right. for. And that's definitely not this. I like the whole process of making yeah. it. I think it's really fun. The drink is pretty smooth. It's a cozy drink. Yeah. I mean, you've probably seen out here today, it's been pretty windy. It's Obviously, it's pretty chilly out here. And on a day like today, though, it's... Yeah. This is the drink for oh, yeah. the day. Absolutely. But it can be improved on a little bit. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also want to make sure that I thank Cyber for letting us come out here and use his property and to make these drinks and all that. We'll make sure that we come back if you'll have us. Yeah. And uh, we're going to perfect this recipe in time. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys. Before I go, I just want to make sure that I thank my Patreon patrons. Special thank you to the Innocents, Tyler Bioshock Rodriguez, Ashley Gertensen, Curtin Wade, Man vs. Moose, Bryce B, Cyber, Montgomery Johnson, Jerker Rosen, Will S. Baker, Jason Victory, Joshua Bale, Rich Christensen, Comrade Krieger, Epic Dale, Dawson E, Song Breezes, Noah Ovens, David Perkins, Sneaky Ninja, Noah 5943, John Golly, Jigsaw, Your Pal Mitch, Yinzian, Old, Algo, Coco Rockout, Aquas Ghost, Aaron Dane, Lord of Hoosburg, and Reese Yerby. Also got to make sure that I thank my silver and bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for your ongoing support. I do appreciate it. Let's keep growing. Let's keep doing what we're doing. And we'll see you all next time. Thank you, folks. This is the most unnatural shot that we're going to be shooting. Right. <laughs> right here. Yeah. This is like the pause and the, okay. Oh, my! He's on fire! I think last time we... Got the eggs better, but this time it tastes better. Like <laughs> Are you, the taste do you have is, yeah, I have, I have, oh, you do. I have chunks of eggs. I mean, it still tastes good. Just a weird texture. Oh yeah, yeah. I got an egg. Mm -hmm. I got a little piece of one.
I would really like to try a lighter beer, like an apple cider or a. Meat. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to put eggs in it, though, would you? Uh, no. I don't. I mean. I'd like to film this of you mixing your eggs up in your apple cider, <laughs> <laughs> your hard and cider. See, and see what happens. Yeah, I think they would too. It just doesn't seem like an apple, like a, like a hard apple cider. It doesn't seem like it would be good. Combined, it's with like the something egg. creamy. Like it's not supposed to be creamy. I think is the issue to me. You've never put cream in your apple cider. I have not. Have you? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's good. Well, you might be honest. Like it's like chocolate covered bacon you wouldn't think it would be good right but it's way better than it should be well, i'm open to it <laughs>